create your own lesson. Now that you've seen the order in which to follow the curriculum, we're going to look at creating your own lesson. I'm going to assume that you've at least watched the introduction to the Tello Drone Programming by Dennis and that you've followed along from lesson one and two from this Getting Started Guide. So what you want to do is you want to separate your first lesson into two parts, the observation and the physical handling of the Tello. That's where they look at the Tello, you cover safety, you decide how you're going to set your class flight perimeter, whether you use tape in corner of four or five little spots in your classroom or one or two, depending on the size of your classroom. You will then introduce the students to block coding, the takeoff and land, and the box mission. Now, what's really cool is if you don't have enough drones for all the students and numbers are limited, you can introduce them to different roles. So you could do pair programming, which is really cool, where you have a driver and a navigator. So the two students would sit in front of an iPad or their Chromebook and they'd work together. One person does the hands-on click and drag and typing, and the other one will talk them through what they're doing and they'd work together and then you would switch roles so they each have a turn. If you have three students for one drone, the third person can be the person that observes how the other two are working together, making sure there's no conflict, making sure everyone's working well. They can also be the drone handler, in which case they will pick up the tello, they will put it down on the floor, they will collect the tello and because they are rotating the roles, everyone will get a turn to do something different. And it's really cool. That way you can create engaging lessons with fewer drones. And that would be the rinse and repeat method where you follow one of our course curriculum modules and you repeat it back to the students. Now that's great. The biggest thing we get is how do we keep students engaged after hours like homework and how do we assess the competency of the students so we can see if they are progressing in your lessons. Well, this is where the drone blocks app will come in handy. This box mission is an example. Now, before we get started, I just have to cover one thing. When you open up your DroneBlox app and you sign in, you can click on the hamburger and say save mission as. You can give this a name, grade eight navigation 01. So I'm doing grade eights using the navigation blocks 01. This could also be loops 01. It depends on your lesson. Whatever you name this mission, that is going to be the title of the mission that the students see in this corner up here where it says Untitled Mission. Okay, so in my example, let me get to a better example quickly. So here I've created four sets of takeoff and land. Now, you will never execute this and send this to the Tello because the Tello has to only have one takeoff and land. So you'd make sure when you're executing this code on a Tello that these other three sets are deleted and you've only got one. But like I said, this is just to show you how you can create code and share them with your students. Now, for those of you that have had a quick look, you might say, hey, Clinton, these are all wrong. And well, yes, they are. And they're wrong on purpose because your students have to correct them. So I've saved this mission as G8 Nav01. Now, I'm going to right click on the takeoff block and add a comment. Now, if I click on the comment or the question mark, I've pasted this where it says the task is fly your tello in a square with the side length of 20 inches. This is telling the student what they need to achieve. So they would have to go, okay, well, three sides, 80 degrees, it'd be a strange shape. And they would correct that to four sides, 90 degrees, done. The next one would say something like, add one navigation block to complete the square. And if you're following along, you could answer that. If you fly forward, what do you need to do? Your left or right, 90 degrees, brilliant. And so on and so forth. So pause this video, have a look. I'll share this link below and you can also have a look yourself. So what we want to do is we want to send this to the students. So to do that, simply click on my missions, go to your G8 Nav01 and click on share. And this link, this is the saved link, just like a saved link to a Google Doc that you would share with your students. Now, if you've built it on an iPad, you would share the iPad link or if you're using a Chromebook, you'd use this desktop share link. So you'd click on the copy, get the link and email it to the student. When the student opens that link, I'm going to give you an example quickly of the exercise. Now, what the student would do is they would sign into the DroneBlox, their DroneBlox account. They would then save this mission as. So then they would just add maybe their name onto the title. And then once they've hit save, they go into their my missions. There it is, Sarah Smith. And they share this link back to you. Now, once you get this link as the educator, and then it would show me the name of the mission. 
Now, if the student deletes this mission from their saved mission, you will no longer be able to access it. So if you want to keep a copy of this, you just click on the Hamburg icon, go to save mission as, because I'm logged in as me, the educator. You'd go same name. And now if I look at my mission, there I have G8 Nav 1 Sarah, and that's my original. Now, as the multiple of students send me their links and I save them, I expect to build up quite a few students. That's why I start with my exercise name. I can then mark the students. And then one last thing to show you that I think is very cool to do is you can instruct your students in the email that you send them this link in. You can give them this instruction or you can show them in class, but they should right click on the block and add their own comment. For example, completed, added your right 90 degree block. So then the students can make their comments so that when you get their code back, you can see their thoughts. And you can have them write comments on each block, like they might right click on fly forward, add a comment and say question, why this variable? And then they send that to you. So that's how you can interact with students and mark work using the Drone Blocks app. So that's one idea of how you can make your own lesson. If you have any other questions or other thoughts or ideas, there's an amazing Drone Blocks community that's ever growing that you can join. And in fact, let's show you how to do that. Click complete and continue below and move on to the next video, which is going to show you how to sign up and use the Drone Blocks community. I can't wait to see you in the next video.